Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well wherever you are. It is really encouraging when I receive your feedback in form of comments on my video. So today we are going to discuss the types of dentine. So let's begin. In today's session, we are going to cover the diff three different types of dentine. That is primary, secondary and tertiary dentine. At the end of this video, I'll summarize and compare the three different types of dentine. So watch this lecture till the end. So the first type of dentine is the primary dentine. Primary dentine, it forms the most of the tooth structure. So this is a diagram showing the tooth structure of a molar. You can see this yellow color and this dark yellow color just below the enamel, this all indicate the primary dentine. So the primary dentine, it forms the most of the tooth structure. This type of dentine, the primary dentine is also known as the circumpulpal dentine. So another name of the primary dentine is the circumpulpal dentine. In the primary dentine, the dentine that, that is just below the enamel is known as the mental dentine. And this mental dentine, it contains more type 3 collagen fibers. In the dentine, normally collagen type 1 fibers are there, but in this mental dentine that is present just below the enamel of the crown, it contains more collagen type 3 fibers. The second type of dentine is the secondary dentine. The secondary dentine, it develops after the root formation has been completed. So this pink color, it indicates the secondary dentine. So this dentine is the secondary dentine. So this dentine is deposited after the completion of root. So this dentine is deposited at a slower rate. And it is deposited throughout life. The secondary dentine, it is deposited more at the roof of the pulp chamber. So this part is the pulp chamber. So the secondary dentine, it is deposited more on the roof of the chamber and on the floor of the pulp chamber. So there is unequal deposition of the secondary dentine. Dentine deposition will result in the reduction of the size and change in the shape of the pulp chamber. In secondary dentine, the tubular structure is less regular. So the dentine, it basically contains tubules. This is a picture. This is not a histological cell slide. But the dentine, it contains tubules. So the tubular structure, it is less regular. So if these are the tubules, if these are the tubules. So in the primary dentine, the tubular structure is regular. But in the secondary dentine, the tubular structure is is less regular due to the crowding of the odontoblast when the odontoblast they travel from the greater surface area to a lesser surface area so there is more crowding of the odontoblast that's why the tubular structure it is less regular in the secondary dentine the tubules of the secondary dentine they sclerose more rapidly than the primary dentine so this is a shape of the tubule so these tubules they become occluded or they become sclerose so this is sclerosis is more in the secondary dentine as compared to the primary dentine and this is to protect the vitality of the dental pulp the mineral to organic ratio is the same whether it is a primary dentine or the secondary dentine the third type of dentine that we are going to discuss is the tertiary dentine. So the tertiary dentine is deposited in a localized area, just below the stimulus. So the tertiary dentine is deposited in reaction to tooth wear, such as adhesion or trauma to the tooth structure. For example, here in this picture, there's a loss of, of cars. And just below this, you can see in the pulp, there is deposition of dentine. And this is known as the tertiary dentine. So there's, there is change in the shape of the pulp chamber. So in response to the tooth wear, 
in response to dental caries. For example, in this picture, this is the dental decay or dental caries and just below the dental caries there is deposition of dentine of tertiary dentine in response to the restorative procedures such as fillings so here you can see in this picture this is a restoration and below this restoration there is formation of new dentine so these are the three examples tooth, tooth loss then tooth wear, dental caries, and just below the restoration. So overall, the tertiary dentine deposition it will result in it, it results in the reduction in size of the pulp chamber. So cells that form tertiary dentine uh, they become embedded into the dentine matrix, and it is referred as the dentine is referred as the osteodentine. Here you can see in these pictures. This is a primary and secondary dentine. This is a primary and secondary dentine. So sometimes the cells, uh, they become embedded into the dentine. And in this case, it is known as tertiary dentine is ref also referred as the osteodentine. So it appears, uh, the dentine matrix, it gives a bone-like appearance. So the, dent uh, the dental tubules, the tubules, they are present normally in the dentine. So in tertiary dentine, the tubules are less in number. So here you can see the tubules, they are less in number as compared to the primary and the secondary dentine. And they are irregularly arranged because tertiary dentine is deposited at a faster rate. But sometimes there are no tubules at all, like in this picture. It depends on the rate and, uh, and the severity of the stimulus. It depends on the intensity and the duration of the stimulus. Tertiary dentine is also known as a reactive or reparative dentine. So what is the difference between a reactive or a reparative dentine? The reactive dentine is produced by the pre-existing odontoblast. It means the reactive dentine is deposited by the same odontoblasts that have deposited the primary and the secondary dentine. So those same odontoblasts, they have deposited the tertiary dentine. So that is known as the reactionary dentine. It means deposition by the pre-existing odontoblast. Another type of, uh, another name is the reparative dentine. Reparative dentine is deposited by the newly differentiated odontoblast. It means new odontoblast, they are differentiated from the dental pulp. Dental pulp contains stem cells. So though the pre-existing odontoblast, they died. And new odontoblast, they are differentiated from the dental pulp and they deposit it. And those odontoblasts, they deposited the tertiary dentine. So if this is the case, then the dentine is known as the reparative dentine. So new odontoblasts like cells, they are differentiated. Here, I'll briefly uh, summarize and compare between the primary, secondary, and the tertiary dentine. So primary dentine is basically physiological dentine, means it is normally formed. Secondary is also physio physiological dentine, while the tertiary dentine, it is deposited uh, in result of a pathology or in result of a stimulus to protect the vitality of the dental pulp. Primary dentine is deposited by the odontoblast. Secondary is also deposited by the same odontoblast, while the tertiary it is dentine, it is depo deposited by the odontoblast or the odontoblast-like cells that are differentiated from the dental pulp, dental pulp cells. Primary dentine is deposited till the root completion. The secondary dentine, it is deposited after the root completion and it can, the, the deposition, it continues throughout life. The tertiary dentine forms only in response to a stimulus like dental caries, trauma, or uh, restorative procedures. The primary dentine is also known as the circumpulpal dentine, while the tertiary dentine is known as the reactionary dentine or a reparative dentine. In primary dentine, the tubular structure is regular. In secondary dentine, it is less regular. In tertiary dentine, the tubules, they are least, least regular or there are no tubules at all.
the primary dentine, it is deposited equally around the pulp chamber. The third secondary dentine, it is deposited more at the roof and the floor of the pulp chamber. In other areas, there, there is deposition of secondary dentine, but it is more at the roof and the floor of the pulp chamber. The tertiary dentine it is deposited in a localized area only, like just below the stimulus. I hope this video is useful. Uh, do comment and tell me your views so I can improve more in the future. Uh, thank you and stay blessed.